Now we see 8 o'clock and we thank you for being with us. I'm Gene Levanchi. I'm Elizabeth Hopkins. We've got one more day of nice weather before the rain returns. At Boston 25, news mm. meteorologist Sherry Spear joins us. Now, do we need the rain, though? I mean, July was so no. wet, but... <laughs> oh, we don't? All right. Then. We had like a foot of rain okay. last month. In We've got excess locks. rain. <laughs> We've got had it. a lot of rain, people. Got it. Uh, so, no, at this point, in fact, because... So many of the uh, like the streams and rivers are high in their bank. It actually doesn't take as much to create a, a flash flooding situation. So uh, no, we don't exactly need the rain. You know, it would be good if we got like average rainfall this month. Uh, we don't want to turn it into a drought or anything, but we've got plenty of rain on the way tomorrow. Today it's 60s. It's sunshine to get you started this morning. Chance for rain today is going to be pretty low. Uh, chances will start to climb tonight and especially tomorrow. But I just want to point out if you're headed into Western Mass, Southern Vermont, southwestern New Hampshire. Those are spots where we could have an afternoon shower or thunderstorm. So keep an eye to the sky out there. Otherwise, in Boston, we're going to get some increasing clouds, a little increasing wind this afternoon. High temperatures will be close to 80 degrees, but again, dry. Uh, another thing that you're going to feel changing is our humidity levels through the day today, and I'll be back with a look at that Friday weather. Catherine? All right, 8 o'clock hour. We're starting off with a live look here at the upper deck of the Tobin Bridge as you're trying to make your way into downtown. You're not doing it with a lot of ease. That center and left lane very much jammed at this hour of the morning. So main view of the map expressway going northbound. We did have an earlier crash reported over by Morrissey Boulevard. You are jammed as you're coming up from Quincy and we're seeing a little uptick in that southbound volume as well. Just right there in Dorchester. 128 southbound. We have a stall over by Route 1 as well. So right here in Dedham, we are seeing that southbound delay reflecting that. Northbound volume on 128, it's exactly where you would expect it to be for this hour. But let's talk more about the pike going eastbound. So this is that rollover. It happened on the pike eastbound in Charlton. Happened just after 4 a.m. according to state police. This also did involve a fuel spill. So the right, the breakdown lane, those are getting by right now. Not nearly enough though. So pike eastbound backed up heavy volume all the way back to 148. Route 20 is looking rough as well because a lot of people wanting to take that as a detour. So if you could, maybe Route 31 or 49 up to Route 9. That would be in your best interest. A little bit of a delay there. Not like what we're seeing down here, though, on the Pike and Route 20. We'll check drive times in 10.